Hi Stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to make the never ending card. I had made this video a long time ago. Actually I have two videos on two different sizes of this never ending card and it's so much fun to make. But I had a request from Rita to update the never ending card using new supplies. So today we're going to make this purple one here. So this is the front and you're going to open it and then you're going to open it and then open it again and then you're back to the beginning. Isn't that fun? So then I made this one as well. This one is using the Happiness Blooms designer paper. Now instead of using two pieces of Whisper White, I kind of changed it up. I used the Grapefruit Grove and I also used the Clips of Coral. So two pieces of cardstock you're going to need, but I just alternated the colors. So let's show you how this one opens up. So here's this, the front. And that's the back and then the front again. Isn't that fun? Now this one I did slightly different as well. So I used the two pieces of Whisper White. But instead of like the designer paper, I used the Graceful Glass 6x6 Vellum designer paper. So this is the front. I haven't decorated it yet. But the colors that I use with the Stampin' Blends, it makes it look like it could be an Easter card. So this is the front. Then you open it. That's the back side. And then you're back to the front. So fun. All right, so we're going to make this one today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you're going to need two pieces of Whisper White. And this card will actually fit into a regular size envelope. Now, the other video that I do have from many years ago is this size as well. And then there's also one that's a 6x6 six six size. Okay, so you're going to need two pieces of Whisper White. And these are both cut at 4 and a quarter by 5 and a half. And we're going to cut and score both of these pieces together. So I'm going to grab my paper trimmer. Okay, so you're going to decide on which piece you want going horizontal and then one piece that's going vertical. Okay, so you're going to, I'm going to start with the five and a half inch piece across the top and I'm going to score at one and three eighths on both ends. So we're going to score it at one and three eighths. So you're going to score both ends at one and three eighths. Now you're going to turn it on the four and a quarter inch side. And you're going to cut this in half at two and one eighth. And I recommend that you fold both of your ends, folding them both ways. Because this card is a lot of, you know, flipping and folding. And if you have the cardstock fibers broke down going both ways, it just moves a little bit easier. So now the next piece of Whisper White, we're going to start at the four and a quarter inch side across the top. We're going to score at one and one sixteenth on both ends. Okay, now we're going to turn it on the five and a half inch side. Let me make sure. Yep, five and a half. Now we're going to cut this in half at two and three fourths. So now this is going to be the bottom section of our card. All right, so let's grab our pieces. Okay, so you're going to want to use either tear and tape or if you have some fast fuse. I'm using fast fuse today to kind of speed up the video. Or some strong adhesive when you're making this card because once again, it's moving and you do not want that to come apart. Okay, so we're going to take this section right here. This is going to be the top of our card and then this is going to be the bottom. Let me fold these ends here really quick. Okay, so we're going to take our two pieces like this and we're going to put adhesive in the top corners and the bottom corner. This is where we're going to butt this up together right here. So you're going to put adhesive here, here, and then here and here. And you're just going to put it in the corner. So I'm going to use my Fast Fuse. Okay, so now we're going to put our pieces together. So now you're bottom section of your never ending card your line here your score lines should be going horizontal okay and then your vertical lines right here on the top piece which go like this instead of going horizontal they're going to go vertical okay so i find that just taking one of your pieces and lining that up in the corner just like that pressing that down and then i'm going to flip it over and take this piece here remember my adhesives here so what I'm doing is I'm just lining it up a little bit easier this way, I find for myself. So your center line should be still butting up, 
but you got your adhesive sections on the front panel just like that. So we're going to take the second piece. You can also just layer it like this. As long as you're adhering the two corners down, just like that. So now this is going to be the front of my card. So you're just going to fold it and fold it. And I'm just reinforcing those score lines that we made previously. And then fold it. And then you're back to the beginning. Super easy, right? All right, now we're going to decorate it. So let me give you the measurements of the designer paper that I'm using. So I'm going to be using the designer paper called How Sweet It Is. It's in the Occasions catalog right now. And you're going to need, let me see here, eight squares. And these are cut at two by two and five eighths. You could probably cut them down a little bit more on certain places, but the squares are the biggest squares. And each fold out will have a square. So there's two squares and I did four designs. So they're going to be each different. So there's going to be one for there. So you get the idea. So you're going to need eight squares cut at two by two and five eighths. And then let me give you the measurements here for the front. So my front card, you can see here, I have the little four little um, rectangles here, and then I have four on the back side. Okay, so let me give you those measurements. So these four are going to go on the front of my card, and these are cut at one and I think it's one and a quarter by two, and you're going to need four of them. Okay, and then on the back side, these right here gonna need one for there and then these are cut at one by two and five eighths okay so let me go ahead and put all the adhesive on these pieces and we'll put it together really quick Okay, so we have the designer paper on our card now. So let me show you all the stamp sets because I did use a, quite a few stamp sets to make this into a birthday card. So let me show you all those stamp sets. I'm using the Postcard Pals and I'm using Hope Your Day is Filled with Fun and Lots of Happy Surprises. And then I'm also using the Itty Bitty Birthday for It's Your Day. The Hello Cupcake is going to be for the front with the greeting as well from the Postcard Pals. And I'm using Celebrate Your Day. And then this stamp set is the Itty Bitty Greetings, and I use quite a few from the stamp set. I use the Celebrate, Fabulous at Any Age, and I think there was one over here. Oh, yeah, and then this one says Happy Birthday. And then I also use the Hand Delivered, which is the Love Celebrating You. And then I also use the Bunch of Blossoms, which lets celebrate your day. So those are the, all the stamp sets that I use for today's card. <laughs> And to save some time, I went ahead and stamped and punched out all the greetings here. And let me show you here. So I used the one and a quarter inch circle punch with the greetings, and then the one and three eighths scallop circle punch for the scallop with the basic black. And then for the larger greetings, I used the one and three fourths circle punch with the two inch circle punch for the basic black. I'm just gonna go ahead and put adhesive on all these, and we'll decorate the whole card. Okay, so I know the front, we're going to have the celebrate your day. And it doesn't matter. You could actually put it here, too, if you wanted. For the back, which I'm calling the back side of the card, could also be the front of your card. But I like the purple side. So we're just going to put the celebrate your day. And then hope your day is filled with fun and lots of happy surprises. Then we're going to open it up, and we're going to put two of our greetings on the inside here. So we're going to put the it's your day there. Let me see here what we got. Hmm, let's put fabulous at any age. Then you're going to flip it. And then you're going to put two greetings here. Let me see here. Love celebrating you. Celebrate. 
And then we're going to open up for the last panel right here. And we're going to say, let's celebrate your day. Happy birthday. So then you're back to the beginning. Isn't that cute? Now, I will say that you could leave off a panel of the designer paper, or you don't even have to put a greeting there, and you can sign the card there if you wanted. So let's go through the card now. So this is the front. And that's the never ending card. Don't you love it? So then here's the other one, the same colors. And then here's the one using the graceful glass vellum. So pretty. Let me show you the markers that I use for this, for the colors. Okay, so I used the Stampin' Blends and I colored the back side of the vellum. So I used the Granny Apple Green Light, the Highland Heather Light, Flirty Flamingo Light, Balmy Blue Light, and then also the Daffodil Delight and the Light. So those were the colors that I used for the vellum. So now this one I used the two different colors of cardstock. I used the Grapefruit Grove and then the Calypso Coral. And then this is the Happiness Blooms designer paper. All in the birthday celebration mode for the birthday cards. So cute. All right, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll have all the items listed below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.